I heard kind of a shocking rumor recently. I've heard that pumpkin pie isn't actually made out of pumpkins. You see, most people don't make pumpkin pie from scratch anymore. They use pumpkin puree from a can. And the main manufacturer of that pumpkin puree doesn't use something that looks like this to make their product. They use a type of squash called the Dickinson Select. And the Dickinson Select looks a lot more like a butternut squash than a traditional pumpkin. So that got me to thinking, what would a butternut squash, not so pumpkin pie, taste like? Right, so the proof is in the pudding. <laughs> Let's see what this tastes like. Well, it looks amazing. Yeah. Let's have a bite. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. That's yeah. right. That tastes exactly like pumpkin pie. Surprise, surprise. No pumpkins at all. Though this experiment may have shattered a few childhood illusions, there's actually a bright side to all of this. Most of the pumpkins that you find for sale in the supermarket are actually not pumpkins that you should be putting into pumpkin pie. They're grown to be jack-o'-lanterns and they don't really have a great flavor. But if you're going to make pumpkin pie from scratch, you know now that you can use butternut squash. Full written instructions on how to make my butternut squash not so pumpkin pie are over on lovelygreens.com. But what you'll need is a one crust pie crust and you can either make that yourself or buy it pre-made. And then for the filling, you'll need a butternut squash, you'll need to roast it and from it make four cups of puree. And then you'll combine that with condensed milk, cream, spices and eggs and bake it all together for an hour at 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Thanks so much for watching and do share this recipe with people you think might be interested. I think more than a few people will be surprised to know about their pumpkin puree from a can.